Hello everyone, welcome to Prayogik Uno channel. In this video, let's discuss about the IC ULN2003. So ULN2003 is a Darlington pair transistor IC. So I guess you already know what you mean by Darlington pair. If you see here, there are two transistors which are cascaded with each other. So these are called as Darlington pairs. The reason they are cascaded is it gives very high current amplification. So that's the reason the transistors are paired with each other. So ULN2003 is a 16 pin IC. You can see here and it contains seven Darlington pair transistors. So you can see here there are seven transistors. So it has seven inputs for the transistors and seven outputs from the transistors and one of the pin which is pin number eight is ground and pin number nine is called as common freewheeling diodes as we go ahead we'll discuss what are these pins and how we can use them so the main reason for using uln2003 is it provides very high current capability for example if you take any regular microcontroller maximum it would support up to 40 milliamps but each transistor in this ULN2003 can support up to 500 milliamps. So that's the speciality of this transistor. So uh, wherever we require high current capability, we are going to use this IC. And also you can see here each driver, each driver. So this is a driver. Okay, so there are seven drivers in this IC and each driver is made up of these components. So if you don't use this IC, you will end up using so many components on your PCB. So just imagine that just for one driver, you need this many components and just multiply that by seven and the circuit gets very complicated. So this is a very convenient IC wherein you can control up to seven different loads. So in this video, let's limit the discussion just to an LED driver. Going ahead, we'll discuss how ULN2003 can be used to control a relay or a solenoid or motor and various other inductive loads. But in this video, let's understand the basic functionality of ULN2003 and understand how to use it as an LED driver. So if this circuit is looking very complicated for you to understand, don't worry about that. I will try to simplify the working of this circuit for you. So for easy understanding, I'm just simplifying this circuit. So let's consider that each driver is just a transistor whose emitter is already connected to ground which is pin number 8 so you can see here in the IC pin number 8 is ground and the base of the transistor is the input so let's take the first driver as example so in 1 is the input of the first driver so that goes to the base of the transistor and the collector of the transistor is nothing but out one. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm just simplifying this entire circuit as a simple transistor. So by doing this, it's very easy for you to understand how to make connections to this particular IC. So just assume that each driver is nothing but a transistor and the input, whatever you are giving here is coming to the base of the transistor and the output is nothing but the collector of the transistor. So with this basic understanding, let's try to connect an LED to ULN2003 and then control it via our Prayogic Uno app. So let's consider this simple circuit, which is transistor as a switch. If you are not aware of this circuit, I would suggest you to watch the video on how to use transistor as a switch. I have provided the link for the video in the description box below. So the part of the circuit, which is in blue color, is nothing but the input and output of the IC. In order to use this transistor as a switch, we need to connect 5 volts resistor and an LED to the collector as shown here. So what we are going to do now is, we'll use one driver in the ULN2003 and then connect this 5 volts resistor and the LED to it and let's operate it from our Pryogic Uno app. So I have placed the ULN2003 IC on top of the breadboard. Now let me place the resistor and the LED. Now let me place the LED such a way that the cathode of the LED is at pin number 16. 
and the anode of the LED is at the same row as the resistor. So I'm making the connections very similar to the circuit diagram. You can see it here. I connected the resistor and the LED. The next step is I need to provide 5 volts to the resistor. And now to close the circuit, I need to connect pin number 8 to the ground pin of Prayogic Uno board. Now let's give input from Prayogic Uno input headers to pin number 1. So by controlling the switch number 1 from the Android app, I should be able to turn on and off the LED. Let's look at the circuit once before we go ahead. I have connected switch 1 to input 1 and the output is connected to LED. So we can observe the output when the LED turns on or off. Now let me go to my Android app and I am going to turn on the switch 1. So you can see here I made it green and you can see how the LED has turned on here. Now if I make it 0, the LED is off. So the reason the LED is turning on is as soon as I give 5 volts to this input at the base of the transistor, then current flows through the base and also this turns on the transistor and the collector current also flows through the LED and that's the reason the LED starts glowing. And when I turn off the switch, there is no current flowing through the base of the transistor and the transistor is a open circuit and the LED doesn't glow. So by comparing this ULN2003 driver to a transistor, it is very easy for you to understand and uh, it helps you to make various connections. I want to limit this video to the discussion of just an LED driver. The reason for that is to keep it simple. So I would suggest you to repeat this experiment at your end and understand how exactly you can make use of the ULN2003 IC. So going ahead, apart from this LED driver, we'll also be looking at how we can control and relay or a motor or even a solenoid. Usually the loads like the relay, motor or solenoid are called as inductive loads. So we'll see how this pin number 9 will come into picture when we are using an inductive load. So all these discussions will be in the next video. For this video, I hope you are able to understand how to use a single driver and connect an LED to it and also how to control the driver. If the video was informative, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching the video.